Well, hi y'all. What is up? And welcome back to our dumpster diving channel. We are up bright and early and we are going to be dumpster diving at some retail shops. So let's see what we find. Ew. <laughs> oh man. Got kind of excited about that too, no? Yeah. There's a couple bags of chips back here and then I actually think there's just like a gallon jug of water. See, I think the label oh. just came off. Wait, Swap me. Oh, and is that the popcorn we like? Yeah. Yeah, the yeah, label just came off. that's one of those like, alkaline off. ones they sell. Cool, okay, let me put it in the truck, I guess. The fiery one. Oh no, it's white cheddar. Looks like our favorite one. What's wrong with it? It seems sealed. It's probably expired. Maybe so. They do always have a ton of it. Uh, it's not expired either. Maybe it like they found it under the shelf and Maybe. it was like they didn't know how long it'd been down there or something. <laughs> but yeah, we love that type of popcorn. And there's some potato crinkle chips. Y'all, this is awesome right now. We've been trying to eat at home a lot and not do any type of like takeout food or anything. Uh, and so we didn't buy as many snacks this week for our groceries. So now we're getting some for free. Mm. Oh, that's trash. Mm, that's trash. And then that water jug back there. I'm curious if there's anything under here. Let me see. Oh, some holes in the bottom of it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it sure does. It's no longer gonna hold water, folks. All right. Looks like a pretty good little hole. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Oh, cool, yeah, that's great. I mean, it's always nice to find food, but it's a lot of fun to find something you specifically buy all the time. I know. <laughs> we love popcorn. That brand specifically is so good. They have several different flavors, but white cheddar is definitely one of my favorite flavors. And then finding just a big gallon of water. Mm -hmm. Here we list the chips. I mean, that's great. You can always use water. Sweet. Okay. Three really great items for our very first stop. That's awesome, y'all. We're moving on. Ooh, what'd you find? Oh, this is, those are in there. It's okay. like the box just looks beat up, but I'm sure at least a few of those are. Fine. And if those aren't, I bet some of these are. Wow. And if those aren't, <laughs> oh, fruit crate. <laughs> crayola fruit <laughs> No way. It's hilarious because kids eat crayons. It does feel like, are you supposed to eat that? Oh, we yes. can do the donate ones in yeah, this one. Yeah, we will donate these. This is weird because some of it's just like empty oh, yeah. cans and then some of it's like boxes of snacks. That is weird. Kind of what some might call a miscellaneous bag. Yeah. So oh, that one's falling off of that tomato soup. Tape it back on. And you were just saying how you wanted a nice hat. <laughs> Was I? <laughs> wow. It was actually good for, I mean, not necessarily that you need to keep and wear it, but it's good for keeping the sun <laughs> off you. It is, it's a good pool hat. Yeah, she's obsessed with pool hats. Yeah, I can't stop buying a pool hat. She can't stop buying more pool hats. <laughs> and just when you thought you didn't have enough fruit snacks. Uh-huh, what'd you find? Dinosaur. Nice. Just when you thought you didn't have any trolley sour bright crawlers, wow. you do. <laughs> is this a bag too of stuff or is that trash? To me, that looks like trash. 
Oh, what is this? A uh, body wash. It is this to hide it. Are those fruit snacks? No. Not anymore. Are you still going through that bag? Uh, yeah, a little bit. There's like a little... It's got a hole in the bottom. Yeah. I don't trust that in this store, if it's half used, it is what it is. That might be fair. A lot of the times it's pee. <laughs> they might just be really hydrated. <laughs> incredibly hydrated. Okay. Hey. That bag. We already went through this one. Yeah, that bag's trust. Okay. Pretty sure the bag you were going through was the place to be. The bag. Yep. There's some shit bags, but those are empty. And just, just a lot of cardboard. Alright. Great, pretty good. Mm, not bad at all. Um, this is definitely gonna fly off. Huh? Oh, she <laughs> pressed her back. <laughs> wow, you gotta get her a job at the Campbell's factory. <laughs> That's right, get me a job. <laughs> Okay, well, that was pretty good. What do you think we're doing? Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> the light keeps scaring me. Why? You think I don't it's know. someone? Yeah, when I see it out of the corner of my eye, I feel like it's like a tr car pulling up. Uh oh, do they right behind you? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I scream. That's how you would scream. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, they spray paint all their stuff now. Really? Feel it? I can't even tell if, like, this is an item. Yeah, that's definitely something for, Garage like, a... sale. Mm. This is, it's plumbing. Oh, yeah, it's from the toilet or something. Yeah, it's like a little toilet hose. I guess, but, like, it's exposed and it's painted red. <laughs> what do you mean it's exposed? I mean, like, people might not want it painted red. Uh, There's a little trash. Paint the whole thing red. If they don't like that one, what yeah, about this one? paint the whole thing red. And if they don't like that one, what about this one? Oh, they might like that one. They were like, none of these hoses are unique. I mean, it's like they might all leak or something. <laughs> That's the trouble with the hardware store. But... You could sell them at a garage sale for 50 cents instead of like, five bucks or whatever. Mm -hmm. All right, he's found something that he's taken. And I'm not gonna stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sh shoot, the whole sink kit down here. Oh, wow. This is like the tarp they were spray painting on, too. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Here's like this stainless steel fixture putty. See, they literally brought it out here, set this down, and painted on it. Wow. I don't know what this is. It's like I guess they like to ruin our finds. They do. Oh, that one's... That one's torn, <laughs> I think. I think so, too. Alright. There's a air conditioner. But it's broken and painted. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of people walking towards us. Okay, that's <laughs> the right. carnival. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> The Texas Fair is in town, and so everyone is setting up for the for the rodeo and the fair and the carnival. It's pretty fun. We don't go very often. We went like a few years ago when our friend from California was in town staying with us, and we wanted to show him a true Texas experience. Uh, but it's kind of super expensive to go to and all the food and everything is expensive, but it is really fun if you can get it on a day that it's not like 100 degrees. But these are some, maybe some fair folk. Fair folk. They are all like set up. There's like a whole tent encampment behind us in this like chained in uh, field. <laughs> <laughs> you made it sound terrifying. <laughs> it's like where there's like their RVs and trucks and 
You can kind of see it in the rear view. <laughs> tent encampment <laughs> in a chained in field, I think is what you said. You can drive by and see if I can get some glimpse of the first. Of the fair? Yeah, the first setup of the fair. Oh, they're not even headed to the fair. Nah. Maybe they're meeting at Tally's Amusement. Yeah, there's Tally's Amusement. To get their assignment amusement. for the day. I just made that up. <laughs> he <laughs> thinks he knows what it's like. Maybe they're going to get some breakfast before the day starts. That's smart. This is the fair yard. Funnel cakes, pizza burgers, cotton candy, corn dogs. Classic fair foods. Put your Sivo. Oh, right? yes, ma'am. Jeez. So right now it's like pretty much all trailers. Oh, there you can right, see you some can of see the rides pre-set up, but they do have rides and stuff. And then behind there, all the way in the back is the rodeo. And that's pretty exciting. Oh, there's the ticket booth. There's Tally. There's Tally. I didn't realize we had a Tally. I don't it's know like if the, we have a tally. Well, this is the North Texas. Oh, yeah. But I think tally amusements, they'll go anywhere. <laughs> they don't care they'll where go you're from. For a buck. Yeah, I get it. They're like for like 40 bucks. For like $50 million based on how <laughs> <laughs> She estimates this fair makes $50 million a week. <laughs> yeah, I think so. That's why they keep coming back. Uh -huh. It's a good okay. gig. <laughs> it's a good gig. So yeah, so that's the fair. It'll be set up uh, this week. It's set up, so pretty fun. Uh, and we're gonna go find some more dumpsters now that we gave you a little tour. Tiny Texas fairs. <laughs> yeah, future fairs. Yep. All right. All right, we got a row of dumpsters here. Let's see, oh, he's not sure what he sees. Mops. Yeah, it smells like cleaning supplies or solution. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like their display. <laughs> oh yeah, there's another big display there. Here, do you want to take this to the other one? I don't need to tell people about their receipts again, but I want to get some of these receipts. <laughs> okay, she's doing receipts <laughs> and we are dumpster diving. Oh, wet, wet water. Fences, metal circles, dirty buckets. Pretty good stuff so far, folks. What is this? Are these crackers in there? No. Okay. Let's see about the next one. Oh, some pretty beat up ding dongs. That's just the box. Get into the restaurant. Yeah, don't this is the becomes less interesting and to dig in. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. She got her receipts though. I did. I got a good pile. You got of a them. good pile of receipts. Yep. We're counting that as a win, folks. Yeah, we're counting this as like ten fines. Ten from fines. <laughs> oh, it smells good, like laundry. Okay, well, it's not just full of laundry stuff. <laughs> Like I was expecting it to be. Ooh, dying. I want it those cliff bars. Always get my hopes up. I know, the little boxes make you think you've really found something. Okay, we're just digging through a pile of old leaves. But what if there's good stuff in there? There's well, not keep, folks. keep trying if there's you think <laughs> We can check this one, but this one. Not, not that great. We used to find lemons. Sometimes we find lemons. Some Cheeto puffs. A bunch of bottles. Okay, you're yep, right. Nothing. Let's go. You're right. Okay, y'all. Moving on. Are you gonna do some karaoke? I guess we can show this. <laughs> Pretty funny. Big old karaoke machine. 
Plugged in. Plugged in. Someone was testing it. That's so funny. It really I wish is. we had some mics. Know, it doesn't turn on though, does it? I mean, I'm turning the power on yeah, and it's it doesn't look like it. not really working. <laughs> Though. It's like a one you would like as a DJ bring to like a wedding. Yeah. It's like a big one. Oh, here's something. Hi. What? I never thought I'd say Andrea is a. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I say those words on the channel. <laughs> yeah, that's rude. <laughs> that's rude to Andrea. Yeah, poor Andrea. I don't know much about her, but. He's got a bad reputation <laughs> on the around these parts. seeing much and the more you dig the smellier it gets hmm that's tough that is tough i'm gonna check over it this time okay it's nice again this morning i know it is we're getting some nice mornings which is not the usual for I august know. and what do we got in here nothing a whole lot of nothing <laughs> a whole lot of nothing okay all right <clears throat> Oh, I feel like I'm like the host of a documentary. I'll do some narration. Okay, we're out here dumpster diving. Cloudy, sunny skies. So I turned into a meteorologist. <laughs> uh, we've got a meteor shower later tonight. But by the time this video goes up, it'll be long gone. Uh, and we're gonna keep going, you know? And cut. Okay. <laughs> I thought those were all little pennies down there, but they're just little balloon inserts. I'm hoping this would be a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say it. I was too. I'll say it. like this big dollhouse for, and it's sold at the garage oh, yeah. I remember and these are like the floor plans for it but without the actual house not really much you can do with it is it this oh yeah look it's all torn apart uh oh there's a bee there. Okay, so I guess. Oh, yeah, there is part of it too. Weird. It's kind of odd. Yeah, I wonder why it's all in pieces. I bet they didn't have it all or something, and yeah. they maybe tried to donate it. <laughs> Just threw it out. Take this. Yeah, we could take that tub. It's useful for garage sales. Nice. All right. <laughs> there's those shoes from the other day. Oh, uh, yeah, they're still here. Yep. They don't look like there's really much left. Mm. Or else, I mean. Yeah, it really doesn't. Big Starbucks bag. Like, not in a cool way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like a bunch of coffee grounds. Yeah. Yeah, it pretty much looks like a lot of trash from the cafe. Yeah, it's like theoretically you can find stuff sometimes, but from <laughs> really? the cafe, oh, like they'll yeah. be throwing away their chocolates a or things chocolate, like that. Yeah, but. I did find a bunch of chocolate here one time. That was four years ago or something. Okay, nothing from the Barnes and Noble dumpster. We are moving on. Oh my, my, my. Big one. 
got <laughs> dueling videos yeah. going on here. Ooh, lots of empty boxes of Country Time lemonade. That's what we like to see. It's like a bomb or a bag. I don't know. But. <laughs> no, this trash. This trash. This trash. Okay. Alrighty, y'all. Well, there we go. Nothing at the mall. Good thing we found some snacks in the beginning because we're not really finding much else today. Retail, when we go on trips and we go on road trips and we travel to new states, retail is like the coolest thing ever to dive at because we find a lot of stuff. And then when we're here in our city, retail just really isn't that good. There's quite a few places to check. Um, and it just really is very hit or miss and like, 80% of the time it's a miss. Mostly miss. <laughs> Mostly misses. Mostly miss. Yeah, so it really depends on your area a lot whether retail is going to be good or not. And that's why we really like apartments the best. We find a lot of great stuff at apartments and we find a lot of stuff that we like at apartments um, and that like we want to keep for our house and stuff that we can use versus retail. We find like today we found some good snacks and we'll eat some of them, but uh, yeah just kind of hit or miss, but we're gonna keep going to a few more dumpsters today and see if we can't make this a hit. Bing! Bing! <laughs> okay, you guys, we're home. I just wanted to show you bones and then I'm gonna run to the community pantry uh, to drop off some of the snacks that we found today that we have now cleaned and they're ready to be donated. So here's Mr. Bones. Hi, Bones. Hi, bud. You got your little blanket hanging out in the window. <laughs> Don't get in there. He's always getting into the pots. Look, you can see I haven't cleaned it up yet. There's soil from him liking to dig in it. <laughs> Quit it. <laughs> There's one of the glass balls in there. No, do not get in there. Do not get in there. <laughs> One of the glass balls that we found uh, a couple months ago, maybe, in an apartment complex. They're so pretty. I have one in that one. We already had this one. It's like a little mushroom in that cactus. Uh, so yeah, there's some plants and some dirt on our window seat. And there's bones. No. <laughs> okay. Well, there's Bones. He says hi, even though I guess he's not very talkative today. So there he is. Let's go to the little free pantry. All right, so here's what we brought. We did bring this sun hat that we found because it seems like it's really hot. People might need a sun hat out here. We have a can opener, always great to include in there. We have all of these that we have accumulated for like the year, um, whenever you get like takeout and they give you the silverware. So these are all silverwares. Also good maybe just for people to have. There's some little toasts that we found previously one energy drink and then there's the items we found today that are like uh, fruit snacks and those little cakes so i'm gonna go put all of this in there and i'm gonna leave y'all right there for now okay there's actually kind of a decent amount of stuff in here it's not completely empty which is great there's all the silverware toasts, more split peas. There's a ton of those in here right now. Some canned soup. I taped the label back onto it. All right, there we go. Oh, one more spoon. All right, easy peasy, good donations. And there we go, y'all. 
Uh, we love finding food. I think y'all know that, how much we love being able to find food to donate. We kept the popcorn that we found from the natural grocery store, and we kept the bag of potato chips from that same store. So we kept those for ourselves. Everything else from today got donated. I also put a few other items in there that we'd found over the last couple weeks. We still have some canned food to donate, which is great. Um, and we have a big bag of blankets and towels for the animal shelter. We just took a huge run to the animal shelter. It was four bags and that included towels uh, and bedding. There were a couple cat beds and some other miscellaneous stuff like that. So we did take all of those to our local animal shelter. I love donating there. It's where we got bones. So it's a really local one to us. It's great uh, to be able to donate to our community. That's our immediate community like that. So uh, yeah, we've done some good donation runs here in the last couple of days and then we still have some cans and now we've already accumulated another whole bag of bedding and towels for the animal shelter so really great thank you guys so much for coming along with us today we hope you enjoyed this video we did retail which like I mentioned isn't always that great around here uh, but it's always good when you can find food to donate so I would say today was a success and we hope you enjoyed coming with us so thanks guys and we'll see you next time bye <laughs>